Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to talk about the Dell PowerEdge R610 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on SSDs. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R610 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video will be specifically focused on solid state drives for your R610 server. So here's what we're going to do in this video as a whole. We're going to show you the different compatible types of solid state drives for your 11th gen server. We're going to show you the max speeds, the max sizes. We're going to show you how to actually physically install one, which is super easy because it's a hot swap drive. We're going to show you you uh, how to uh, test at the very end with a tool called HD Sentinel. Uh, what we actually do is we will plug in a storage array to our server uh, and we'll actually test it separately standalone. Uh, we'll run HD Sentinel just to let you know the power on hours and the health score. So it's a nice test outside of Dell Diagnostic, which is a great test as well. And the two tests that I would recommend to test your SSDs, especially if you're buying a used one or if you just want to verify that you have a new one that has uh, no power on hours as a whole. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's hop in. The uh, compatible types of solid state drives are going to be SAS and SATA. Now there are some advantages with SATA over SAS and that's specifically, or excuse me, with SAS over SATA and that's specifically the speed. Now there, I guess there are some advantages for SATA over SAS that it's cheaper. So depending on what you want, if you want the extra speed, it'll cost more um, and you're going to pay a little bit more for the SAS, but let's get into the speed. So with a SATA solid state drive, you can get three gigabit per second and that's going to be the max that it will top out with your 11th gen server. Whereas with a SAS solid state drive, you can get six gigabit per second and that's it's again going to be uh, SAS only and that's for your 11th gen server. Now the uh, max sizes that you can get will be the same uh, either way whether it's SAS or SATA and you can put 7.68 terabytes per individual uh, drive slot so that's pretty nice storage overall. Now I'm going to show you how to install it and then show you how to test it with HD Sentinel. All right, so now I have my SD gear on. We're safe to work on our R610. So this is going to be a very simple upgrade as we mentioned. You're just going to Press the red circle. Your latch is going to pop open for your tray, and you're just going to slide it out. So this is an old hard drive. It's a 1.2 TB SAS 10K. It's a pretty good drive, but we're going to upgrade this now with a 3.84 TB SATA SSD. That's going to be a huge boost in performance overall. So we're just going to slide this in and just click. It's just that easy. You can do it while your machine is on, which is why it's called a hot swap. And as far as just extending the life of an R610 server, this is going to be a great way to increase the overall performance and just give a few more years on your older server. So now what we're going to do is show you how to test your SSDs. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours which is great especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. And like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.